Hi, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about AI and how it can be leveraged for safety. Now, I imagine at this point, many of you have likely heard of, or maybe are even using AI a little bit in your workflow. AI? Well, you know, artificial intelligence. Well, in case you haven't heard of it, there's several different platforms out there. ChatGPT, Bard AI, Midjourney, Runway ML, and these are just to mention and name a few. And it seems like new ones are emerging every week. Okay, maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but you likely get the picture. There's lots out there. Now, these platforms can do a lot of different things from writing papers, which I don't recommend you do, but also translating sentences into different languages, recreating music, recreating music scores, writing songs, even creating very surreal art and video. Now, I know you're likely asking, what does this mean to me? What's in it for me? How can I apply this to what I do in the workplace? Or maybe even, why do I care what an AI can do? Well, let's just wait a second. What if I were to tell you there's a certain AI that can help you up your workplace safety game? In fact, if it's used correctly, it can go a long way to helping you prevent injuries in your workplace. What if I were to tell you that you could use this AI platform as part of your musculoskeletal injury prevention or MIP related programs? In other words, looking at lifting and handling loads in the workplace. You could use this AI to monitor body mechanics during work related tasks, such as lifting objects, moving residents, meaning this AI platform can assess how you're moving and how you're handling loads and doing certain tasks, and yes, point out areas that need correction. So, are you curious? Okay, let's have a look at this example. Now, as you can see, the worker is bending down to lift something, and he's doing it improperly. He might even end up with a sore back as a result. However, what if the AI could show areas that were being bent incorrectly, moved incorrectly, flexed incorrectly, or just too straight when they should be bent. To put it plainly, how the incorrect lift was, well, incorrect. Okay, let's look at another example. See how this person is preparing to squat down to pick up a box, and there's a prevalence of green lines forming, almost like a skeleton, if you will. This is the AI at work and an indicator that these body parts are in good position and he can execute the lift correctly. Once again, though, if you look and he's moving incorrectly, you can see areas of yellow or red. Now, these yellow lines mean areas of caution and the red lines are bad areas and it means that injury could be possible and they need to be corrected. The CCSA has engaged EWI Works as a consultant for our different MIP programs. In addition, we use this feature that they've created as a value-added support service during our musculoskeletal injury prevention workshops. We also refer to it as a resource or use it as a resource during our MIP instructor training workshops. MIP instructors can use this software when they're conducting their courses or just monitoring coworkers in conducting proper lifts. The process is quite simple, really. Users can capture a short video with even their phone up to HD resolution, it is then uploaded to the pose checker site. The AI analyzes the video and then provides the overlaid indicators in the video showing the areas where correct or incorrect technique is being used. Along with that, there's some very detailed charts and reports supplied indicating the different problem areas. In our case, the CCSA, this service provides our instructors the ability to target those weaknesses and quickly correct the student. However, if you're a safety professional or someone that has safety in your portfolio, this service may help you up your safety game by assessing some of the different tasks that are being performed in some of those positions that you've already identified as having a higher rate of injury than the remainder of your organization. As I mentioned earlier, we use this service. We don't offer this service to anyone. We reserve it for our own MIP courses and instructor training courses. But you can obtain a subscription of your own by navigating to the EWI Works website. What we've done is we've included links to the EWI Works website in the description below this video. In addition, if you want to know more about our musculoskeletal injury prevention courses or MIP courses, and other safety-related training that we offer, or if you're interested in becoming a musculoskeletal injury prevention trainer, have a look at the links below. In the meantime, though, 
I want you to do me a favor, have a look at this playlist right up here, which is full of a lot of helpful hints on lifting and moving both residents and objects. So until I see you again, don't forget, work healthy and stay healthy.